when the CRTP is uh, done before hernia, is it the correct form of treatment? Primary and secondary indications of CRT and ICDs are known. If somebody has a left ventricular ejection fraction less than 35 and hasn't had any uh, event at all, they could be offered a primary implantation of ICD is what one is thinking of or a CRTD for that matter. But secondary is wherein somebody has had a hemodynamic collapse due to a documented ventricular tachycardia. For them there is no question it has to be offered because it is too risky to leave them alone. But the indication is a cutoff of 35% by introduction of early, where if the LVF improves beyond 40, whether the indication of CRTP or ICD remains or not is a gray area of evidence. Some Egyptian evidence really suggests that the number of ICDs and CRTDs are going down because of the use of early at the correct time. Suppose such an individual say comes to me with a EF of 30%, I would be inclined to give him a perfect treatment of ERNI and the full form of GDMT that is available. There is a good possibility that this person would cross the LVF of 40% and theoretically at least doesn't become a candidate for an ICD or a CRTP. So my personal choice here, because there is no clarity of data, is to introduce ERNI at this stage. The other example or the, the evidence that supports this theory is that there are people who have been introduced with a CRTP or CRTD and they are non-responders for various reasons. But you introduce early to them, they get response after that and probably they don't require the CRTP after that also. So I strongly believe that if you introduce early at every point before a CRTP is introduced, give a fair chance to the patient unless it is very risky to wait without it. And if there is EF is still hovering around 35, CRTP would be indicated.